Ford uh, truck came into my shop had a misfire when it was cold. And apparently it had been to other shops and a lot of stuff had been done to it and nobody could figure out what was wrong with it. Well, the misfire would go away as soon as it warmed up and it would run just as smooth as glass. Well, what we did is the normal things that we do when we check for something like that. Uh, a compression test. Compression was normal on it. We did the business with the vacuum gauge. Now, for those of you who don't know about testing an engine with a vacuum gauge, you find a good direct vacuum port, and what you look for, you get the vacuum gauge, and the vacuum, whatever the level might be, it will, let's say right here is where the engine is idling, the needle on the vacuum gauge is like that, and then as the engine idles, you have this pulsing that matches the misfire in the engine. It's going back and forth in rhythm with the pulsing of the engine. So you've got a pulsing engine, you've got a pulsing vacuum gauge, and that tells you that you have an internal engine problem because something mechanical is causing vacuum to leak. All right, so we did all of that stuff and we didn't come up with anything. The vacuum was steady, the compression was okay, all of the components in the ignition system and fuel system had already been replaced. So what do we do next? Well, we do a physical inspection. Now that can be a little bit difficult because here we have one of these heads that came off of a, a similar vehicle and if you look at this you can see down in here that the valve springs are way down in there. See on older engines what you had was something like this. This is a typical valve spring. It pulls the valve up, the rocker arm pushes it down, the valve spring pulls it up to close the valve and so on. Well, we got in there and we used various tools to look at the valve springs in this. And what did we find with careful examination? We found this particular valve spring right here. That valve spring should look like this one, but there it is, a broken, collapsed valve spring that didn't have the ability to pull the valve closed when the engine was cold. Well, when the engine warmed up and the oil circulated and everything freed up and so on, it still, even though it was broken, it had enough uh, ability to pull the valve closed that the misfire went away. So uh, this is something that you need to pay particular attention to. If you have a, a misfire in an engine that happens, especially when it's cold, uh, and it goes away and so on, you want to look at these valve springs. You have to take the valve cover off, get in there with a mirror and whatever else you might need, a boroscope in order to see it. But remember, lots of times it will not show up with a vacuum gauge or a compression gauge or any of the normal testing, you have to get eyes on it in order to see the problem. Very common on 5.4 liter uh, Ford engines. Also on the older 4 liter inline 6 in Jeeps. Used to be a big problem with them. So just something that is often overlooked by technicians as one shop had wanted to sell this guy a new engine, it says, well, you know, obviously there's something really wrong inside it. And obviously there wasn't something really seriously wrong, a new valve spring, and we had it fixed. So keep that in mind. These difficult problems, well, they may be difficult, but they're not impossible. Use common sense. And if you have a question, a comment, or just want a lot of great information, check us out at goss-garage.com.